with the UFIS S100 wall light cam you can set it when it detects motion at night it will go to party mode hello guys lifehackster here today we are going to review and check out the UFI S100 wall light cam a uniquely designed light with a camera that can replace your existing wall light fixture this is wired in and one cool thing is that it is not just a bike color led light but actually it is rgb too but because of its design however it has mounting limitations which i'll talk more about later in the video so keep on watching before we dive in disclaimer first yuffie sent this wall light to me to be reviewed but this is not a sponsored video they have no input on what i'm going to say and they will only see this video at the time i publish it anyways let's proceed and check out the features of the s100 this wall light cam records in 2k quality 2048 by 1536 pixel resolution at 15 frames per second in both daytime and at night it has a 4 by 3 aspect ratio and has a 160 degree diagonal field of view and with its integrated adjustable rgb lights you can set it to turn on when it senses motion at night or in a schedule or dust to dawn and when the lights are on the camera will change to color mode and record in full color and the regular lights have a 1200 lumen output which is bright enough to light up my backyard the camera has the same features as other uv cameras except its ai is only person detection no pets or vehicle detection at this time anyways the camera's local storage built in not removable or upgradable and only four gigabytes which supposedly can record up to 25 days of motion events no 24 7 recording and in the near future it will be integrated with Yuffie's home base 3 for more storage this is weatherproof with an ip65 rating and is compatible with google assistant and amazon alex a inside the box we have the wall light cam itself plastic build we have a PIR sensor, which I think is used for both the light and also for the camera's detection. We have the camera lens, which is tilted down, status light and mic, and infrared LEDs somewhere here. The light panel themselves are diffused, and we have the speaker in the back side, and it's actually on both sides. On the back, we have the contact points and also a rubber flap that covers the micro USB port and the reset or sink hole. The lights, by the way, can be adjusted and turned all the way around, which is cool. What else is inside the box? We have the mounting bracket, and this is where you're going to wire it in from your house wiring. We have a short micro USB cable, and we have some mounting screws and machine screws, and a quick start guide. Let's set this up, which Yuffie wants it set up first before installing it. Plug in the power to the micro USB port. Open up the Yuffie app and click the plus sign. Scroll down and choose wall light cam. Scan the QR code which is on the back of the wall light, which by the way, using USB will not power up the light. Type in your Wi-Fi's password and click next. Press the sync button for two seconds until you hear a beep. It will generate a QR code that you need to show the camera. Wait until it is connected and added successfully. Update the firmware if needed. Time to install this and this is where I think Yuffie could have made this a bit better. First, the design. This will only look good in a modern or contemporary designed house and definitely will not match our house. Also, this can only be mounted in a wall and just in a vertical position. I wish the camera can be turned so that it can be installed horizontally. Also, Yuffie suggests that the mounting height for this wall light should be from 71 to only 79 inches. This is mostly designed to replace your porch light near your door or those sconces in your garage. For testing, I'm installing this in a junction box 78 inches high. First thing to do is to turn off power to the light fixture that you are going to replace. Put on the mounting bracket and making sure the right side is up. Screw it in using the included mounting screws. One thing to note, Yuffie placed the wire labels in the light itself, which is G for ground, N for neutral or white wire, and L for live or black wire. But on the bracket where you are screwing in the wires, they have markings but they are hard to see. So what I'll do just for safety, I'll mark with a sharpie the top will be the ground, middle, neutral, and bottom one is live. So let's slide in the green or the bare copper wire on top and tighten the screw to hold it in place. Neutral is the white wire, same thing. And lastly, we have the black or the live wire on the bottom. Do a tug test just to make sure they are tight. Making sure the pins line up, push the wall light into the bracket and secure it using the included small machine screws, one on each side. Once installed, you can adjust the camera's position up to 30 degrees side to side, but you will not be able to tilt it up or down. Then you can turn the power back on. 
Let's check the settings in the app. When you open up the app, you will see the recent snapshot event from the camera. Click on it to get to live view, which loads up decently quick. In here, you can manually turn on the light. You can record the live view or take a snapshot. You can start two-way talk, which is half duplex, push and hold. You can trigger the siren, which you have some options. Sound and light, sound only or light only. You can slide the menu up for more options. Events where you can view and download the recorded footage. Click the gear icon to get to the camera settings. We have motion settings. You can set activity zones up to two customizable zones. You can adjust the motion sensitivity from low to high. And as to AI, it only has human detection, no pets or vehicles. We have light settings, and this is when you manually turn on the lights. You can adjust the brightness, and if you want the light in cool white light, or neutral, or soft warm light, or you can choose any color. And it even has a dynamic mode which the light changes colors. Aurora, warmth, or let's party. You can also schedule the lights and you can set it dust to dawn or set a specific time frame. And you can also change to which type, color, and brightness of light you want. And in motion mode, you can set the light style and set the timer on how long the light will turn on from 30 seconds to 15 minutes. In motion activated mode, you can set fast for the lights to turn on when it detects any type of motion or smart when you want it on when the camera detects a person. We have video settings, night vision, auto, Record settings, you can set how long the camera will record when it detects an event, or you can choose end recording when motion stops. Privacy zones, you can set up to two zones. Notification, which I've set human events only, and I want rich notification with thumbnail. And you can change the notification alert tones in here. In general and storage, local, at this time, this will only record to its built-in 4 gigabytes of storage, and eventually to the home base 3. Time to do some testing. So this is the video and audio quality of UP's uh, S100 wall light cam um, in daytime and the uh, video clarity test at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, running at test. So this is the video quality of the UV wall light cam at night. And this with its uh, lights turned on. And this what it looks like at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 5, so this is the video quality of the UV uh, wall light cam at night <coughs> and this with the no spotlights on and there's two infrared LEDs and this one looks like at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, We are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the UFI's uh, wall light cam, the S100. And I'm on my LTE connection and it is 1026. So let's check it out. There you go, that quick. And the first one is just a text. The second one has the rich notifications, which has the snapshot. And when you click on it, it should be... Yep, when I, it's on the uh, buffered video. And then you can click in here to show the live view. Cool. All right, it just turned 1028. And then let's see what the notification cool off of the uh, UFIS S100. There you go. Less than, less than a minute. Pretty cool. All right. We're going to check the uh, detection distance, the max detection distance of the UFI S100 wall light cam. And uh, I've set the motion sensitivity to the highest and also person detection only. So let's start off at 50 feet, which is my fence line. Not at 50. Let's go 45. Not at 45. Let's go 40. 
not at 40 let's go 35 not at 35 let's go 30 there you go 30 feet this is the audio quality coming out from Yuffie's S100 wall light cap this is the audio quality coming out from Yuffie's S100 wall light cap The video quality of the camera is decent and I like the 1200 lumens light coming from this wall light and it does light up my backyard. Overall performance of the camera and the light are pretty good. I'm not sure though why Yuffie decided to use the PIR sensor for camera's detection. Instead of being camera based because it is continuously powered anyways, this could have increased the detection range of this camera to more than 30 feet. It is pretty reliable in human detection but it doesn't have animal or vehicle detection like their other cameras. The mounting option for this wall light is very limited. As the name implies, you can only install this in a wall and it can only be installed in a vertical position and the suggested height between 71 to 79 inches high and not more than 87 inches. So you need to install this lower than 7 feet. Plus, it needs to be wired in. You have to make sure first that the light fixture you're planning to replace meets these requirements and if it does then this Yuffie S100 wall light cam can be a good option. Anyways that's it for this video, thanks for watching.